In less than a month, big changes are coming to our community's paper of record. This June will mark the first time in 110 years the Eagle newspaper won't land on doorsteps each morning. News 3's Tyler Hoskins spoke to experts to share their thoughts on what these changes mean and what's driving them. Subscribers to the Bryan College Station Eagle will soon only get a print newspaper three days a week. Newspapers are finding themselves having to make economic decisions that um, where is the future of our business? At the end of the day, this is about journalism and what do we provide to our community? As print journalism moves towards digital. There's a recent Texas Press study coming out that was just done in March, over a thousand Texans. 80% of them are gathering their news from newspapers on their phones. Mike Riley was once vice president of news for the Eagles previous owner, Berkshire Hathaway. He says the news was shocking, but not surprising. Uh, newspapers have never uh, uh, survived just on subscription revenues, print subscription revenues. It was always mainly an advertising distribution. The past decade, newspapers have been fighting a losing battle uh, to make money on the internet because that's where the advertising has moved. The Eagle is not the only Lee Enterprise paper making the change. Near Ward for Ward stories have run in about a dozen Lee papers across the country. It's a tragedy, but it's a reality. So I know look at it in an optimistic way. Luckily, the paper is still there. It's still committed to the community just in a new way. And um, uh, you know, if I were living there, I would make it known that it's important for them to stay. Another change, print editions will be delivered by USPS. Riley says he is concerned about how fast those deliveries show up. Hope the Eagle really tries to make their three print publications more of a magazine style that goes in-depth on issues because immediacy uh, is already lost to television, radio, and the Internet. In Brian, Tyler Hoskins, News 3. According to the announcement, the new schedule will have papers published on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Lee Enterprises promises each paper will now have a Sunday reading experience.